Hello there YouTubers. I'm going to try to make another movie outside here. If the wind doesn't come in, I'll be doing all right. It's kind of on sealing the end of your logs. You know, this is going to be my log. This is a board. Just a couple demonstrations. This is the first toilet seat that ever was. But it's kind of an interesting, interesting thing to talk about. What I'm talking about is, I guess, what everybody calls this anchor seal good product I guess I, I've never used it I don't want to say that I, I try not to say anything's bad if you use it you like it it's great this is strictly my opinion okay um, on different ends sealing the ends of logs this is kinda what I'm demonstrating is the, sealing the end of logs I've seen them use latex paint regular paint oil um, uh, Elmer's glue tight bond the thing that everybody generally talks about is anchor seal anchor seal anchor seal so if I use the term anchor seal I'm using it it's just something to seal the end of your into your log and I think everybody's using it wrong is what I'm trying to get to and I want you to think about this and I want you to leave your comments on it after you think about what I say when you have a log and it gets all sorts of cracks in it this is my log. I hope it shows up good. I can't can't really see see I don't, my cameraman didn't come to work again today. Anyhow, this is a log. And what I see everybody do is they seal the hole into their log. What causes the cracks or the checking in the end of the log? To me, it's caused by shrinkage and then the shrinkage the, sh the shrinkage is called by the water going out of it. So p people put an anchor seal in it so the water doesn't go out of it as fast and then it won't check. But the water going out of it isn't what creates the problem. It's the stress from the water going out that creates the problem. Or I don't know how to explain myself exactly right. I'm sure. And I'm sure some people are going to let me know about that. But anyhow, if this band here shrinks at the same rate as this band here shrinks the distance here is so much greater that it's going to want to separate or check and the log is going to give up its tension wherever it wants to give up its tension at it might be the the checks through here it might be if you cut a round or a, a, a flat disc or something like that they seem to always smiley face out or give you a smiley face or pac-man glass and i think it's because it's drying here a little bit faster than it's drying here okay so this isn't shrinking but this out here this outer ring around there is shrinking faster than the inner ring and consequently it's putting stress in that log and then you're getting your your check marks if you were to take this log and maybe put your anchor seal just on the outer rim of it so you're slowing down the shrinkage on the outer ring because this is like putting uh, a wagon wheel on a wagon they heat up the ring and then it shrinks down on there on there well this the same outer section is doing the same thing it's it's drying out at such a high rate it's exposed to more air being here on the outer edge than here and it's drying and it's it's just it's going then all of a sudden it just busts or maybe it, it the logs gonna give up its give up its strength and its least it's like a chain, the, leak, the uh, chain, the weakest link is where it's going to break, so it's going to put its stress cracks in wherever it wants to go. And a kind of example of it is, is are these what I call toilet seats. These things have never checked out. They got a little check here, but because it's not trying to shrink around something, it doesn't have to bust open or, or give up its strength. Same way with these two. I mean, there's only a two inch rim there and these things are rotten and, 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 and funny, but they don't seem to crack. Another, another thing, warping of boards, okay? Say this is, or checking on the end of boards. Now I think if you put anchor seal on the log you just cut, say this is a board right here. It's one big board and these are the grains and this is the way it is. And it checks down the center. Well, if you think about it, once again, this edge here is drying, pulling it this way. 
This edge here is drying, pulling it that way, and it's going to give up its strength in the place that's the weakest, which is down the center. So I think if you were to maybe paint the foot, a foot of the log and then into a certain part here, three inches or whatever, and then into the side and this, I think you'd find a lot less, a lot less um, checking on the end of boards when you trim them. Also, when you sticker them, if you put the stickers out the furthest, I noticed that works a little bit better too. Here's what I'm saying. I, I just saw this sitting out in the sun today. It was just a piece of junk wood that I cut. It was sitting in the sun today, and when, if you see it, it's bowed. I don't know if I'm, maybe all those other explanations weren't in there. I think, I think they were. Um, if I turn this over, this was wet a little while ago when I picked it up. It's already started to dry and it's already started to flatten back out. But the sun's been in here and it's dried the top of this and consequently it's pulling it up. That's why um, on the side of my barn over there, um, when it rained, all the boards were flat and then the sun hits it and they're just starting to kind of bow again. So that's uh, kind of my thing on anchor seal. I'll be interested in your put. This is strictly my opinion. Uh, on sealing the ends of logs and how you seal the ends of logs. Like I said, I don't do it. I, I see Nathan from out of the woods, I believe. Man, he has got a lot of good knowledge down there and he really teaches a lot to, to Sawyers and stuff like that. So I, I would recommend you going talking to him about that or I'd be interested in his input. And there's, there's another one, Matthew, I see he puts um, anchor seal on a lot of his, his stuff and um, I think that's, that's good if you like it and it works, it's great and all that kind of stuff, but I, I really think you'd be better off putting it on the outside rim, slowing the shrinkage around the outside rim down, let the inside shrink at a higher rate than the outside or at a faster rate than the outside, and I think that would be a better way of putting it. Then if you cover that whole log, you haven't changed the drying relationship from leaving it totally open to leaving it totally bare you just slowed it down a little bit which I guess that's what you're trying to do but if you put it on the outside it would change the relationship between the outside part of it drying and the inside drying I don't know if there's any research or if anybody's cut a bunch of rounds Nathan you're down there cut a bunch of rounds and 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 do different things of I know you got the anchor seal do different uh sample pieces and see if that controls see if you can just get around not to pac-man out by putting it around or do some kind of research on that because you're very knowledgeable on that stuff and i know you do a lot of furniture grade and if you could control that shrinkage in the checking and get a little bit more out of the wood you might be might be doing a lot of people a lot of service so anyhow um hats off to all the other people and all that kind of stuff that i watch i'm not too good at these movies anyway but anyhow that's kind of my thoughts, and I'd be interested in your thoughts on the, on the ceiling of the end of the logs. Over and out.